Now, I'm a huge fan of Tesla in general. I own shares in the company, I'm on my third Model S, and have a Founders Edition Roadster on pre-order. However, being a programmer myself, I'm a little concerned about Elon's predictions about their capability of producing level 5 autonomous software by the end of this year. Now, I have a large wish list for updates for my Model S. For instance, given all the cameras they have on the car, it would be seemingly trivial to add colour to the dashboard display of the cars around. But this video isn't about what I wish they would add. No, Elon says level 5 autonomy for the car is just around the corner. But look at what the car thinks traffic is doing while I'm parked waiting for a left turn. But scanning for moving traffic is tricky, and as a programmer I know this. So this video isn't to give them a hard time about that. My confidence in them producing a relatively bug-free autonomous experience is rather undermined by something entirely different. Their inability to correctly tell the time. There is a bug in their ability to count seconds, and it's been in the car for as long as I can remember, and I've been watching it for years. So what is the bug? Well, let's set a timer here in the video against video I've shot of my car's clock on my iPhone. The iPhone video is at 30 frames per second, and the video you are watching is at 60 frames a second, so two frames of iPhone per one frame of video. If we stop the video 10 seconds in, we can see that the Tesla clock is still on 9 seconds, and it doesn't tick to 10 until 5 frames later. So let's let the clock run and see how badly it drifts. Now how on earth this oh so simple task of counting seconds has been messed up, I have no idea. Practically every computer on the planet has a timekeeping clock inside it, and it's trivial to ask the computer what the time is. Not to mention that the car's GPS relies on knowing the time to a super accurate degree and so on. But with this clock, the time keeps drifting and drifting. It feels like you'd have to deliberately code this to happen. I honestly don't know how you'd mess this up. So let's wait and see how far out it is at the end of one minute. You can actually see the lag between the time code and the movement of the hand now. OK, coming up to one minute. So here's one minute, and you can see the clock reads 59 seconds, but how many frames out is it? Let's let it tick to 12 and see. So in one minute, the clock is 41 frames slow, or 0.7 of a second out. That means in just one minute, the clock has lost over 1% of accuracy. In one minute. Now obviously, if that were the case, then very quickly every Tesla driver in the world would have some complaints. But, in the hack of the century, Tesla has you covered. See what happens at a minute and ten seconds. Yep, it just skips a second completely. This now puts the clock ahead of time, which means that when it gets to around 1 minute 30, we're back in sync. And this happens all the time. Now my best guess is that the dashboard display is a separate computer to the main console display. The main console probably keeps internet time and periodically sends that time to the dashboard. Due to a coding error, the dashboard display visually ticks its seconds too slowly. And so when the time update comes from the center console, the visual display jumps. Maybe it got introduced due to a frame rate change in the dashboard computer or something. But anyhow, Tesla, you know I love you, but fix the clock and I might be able to trust your level 5 autonomy. Until next time, goodbye.